Okay, part two. <laughs> uh, we're getting ready to uh, install this here. Uh, we're going to bring air in from the compressor uh, in the shop. And uh, we just finished this up earlier. There's a little video of this, how we put this together. Uh, just a little bit about PEX. Uh, a lot of people debate whether you can use PEX for compressed airlines or not. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, but I think overall uh, it's worth the expense because of its convenience. There's no gluing. Uh, you're never 100% sure if you made that quarter turn on PVC. Uh, there are many commercial products on the market today that you can use uh, to drop air anywhere you want. Uh, but PEX is as effective as anything and it's cost effective too. Uh, most distribution blocks will run you between $25 and $30. Uh, I think our total investment in this one here is probably no more than $11 or $12. Uh, we mounted it on here uh, only because I really don't want this up against uh, these small castings up against the uh, concrete block. Plus it looks a little bit nicer when it's mounted like this. Uh, here's obviously the air fitting. Uh, here's the evacuation and drain line and uh, aside from that it's really a nice little project up to this point. We'll see how well it goes. Uh, we need to make these holes here a little bit larger, position it uh, right about here. I got a spacer block that I made. It keeps things nice and level and we're going to put it right about here and we're going to drop our line down to right about there. So, why don't we get started? And right about there is a good cut. We use our PEX cutoff tool. Again, makes a nice square cut. Probably the most important thing you can do when, you, when you're playing with PEX. You go right there, and all you do is squeeze. Then what we're going to do is, we're going to take one of our stainless steel crimp rings, going to put that on, slide our pecs over the fitting, and then get our crimping tool, and we crimp the ring onto the pecs. And when it closes and opens, you know you've got a complete crimp. This crimp here is, is higher than a rated capacity at a line. I think the line at 72 degrees Fahrenheit is 160 PSI. Uh, we only run 135. Uh, burst is well beyond that. And it's not really an issue until you start getting into uh, 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 higher pressures like 160, 180, and 200 shop pressure. But half inch line is more than adequate uh, for what we need, uh, both as far as pressure and as far as flow. Uh, you can also get these fittings here, actually not fittings, they're cable clamps, so to speak. Uh, we just drilled this one out uh, uh, so we can put a uh, Tapcon anchor screw in. Now, just a quick note on Tapcon. Uh, Tapcon is actually pretty good regardless of what people say. I've had no problems with it. Uh, this here is concrete block. It's not cinder block. Okay, so uh, we're going to attempt the 316s, but we may have to go to a quarter. They do tend to break off uh, easily in concrete block rather than cinder block. So let's give that a quick shot. This is where we want to locate this. This is good right there. Just for registration, we'll put this one right here. And then we'll chase it out with a 316th. Oops.
and the hand patrol really works. It, it really helps. It facilitates a uh, very rapid setting and drilling. It's going to get a little noisy here. Tapcon screws. Now, Tapcon has its own range of adapters and everything. I just happen to have 316's head on my little drill here. And let's put this in. And there we go. That's all she wrote. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill four holes. First we're going to drill one hole to set, and another hole to hold it, and then we'll just move over here. That's all we need. Keep our block square. We'll set one here. Concrete block's brutal. Now that we have our holes, all we're going to do is put our screws in. And you don't have to over tighten. bad for the Hoopy Construction Company. What? Is that better? Now that I'm talking? Okay, again, my apologies. This is the first time I'm making one of these. I'll get better at it as we go along. Just to go over real quick what we did, we just simply cut, I think that's about a 5 by 8 piece of hardboard, double laminated, and uh, we mounted uh, 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 an L-top fitting, and we mounted a, uh, a uh, drain uh, for the airline, which can also double. You can just make a T out of here very simply and if you want uh, one side is a drain that you can tap and the other side whichever side you want it to go can go to a, uh, a vacuum motor uh, but that's pretty much it uh, uh, again 
a lot of argument about PEX and using compressed air, but I've never had any problems with it. So I'll leave it up to you. You all have a nice day now. Bye-bye.